Hi everybody, my name is Gibbento, and this is going to be a lovely update for you all. We here have the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. Mm. Just, I'm just... Oh, let's look at this. Oh, Lord have mercy. And I'm uh, beginning to close in on the part where I've uh, completed the map. Well, not really, but... I've made a few updates, and that's what I'm going to show you here. So, basically, wow, it is dark in here. Let's just uh, time set 05. Bam! Thank you. Daylight. You can see a little bit better here. Um, the render distance right now is on maximum, so hopefully it won't lag out too much. Um, it's just that I really want to show you how big this map is. So, what we got here, as you can see the power plant over here, um, what I've been working on, the, you know, the last three days maybe, is um, the administration office building, because of course there's an office building where all the workers have their paperwork and shit like that, um, and it's connected to the power plant, it's over here. A little bit closer actually to unit 1 and unit 2. So this is unit 2 over here. And this is the office building. So I'm going to take you a little a little bit on a tour around this building. Let's just see here. I'm going to fix this stuff right here. Let's put it on normal. Yeah. Um, Faster, there we go. So be aware that this is still a working project and I'm not 100% finished yet. I would say I'm about 70% of the progress, but I'm working on this on a daily basis. So basically, well, as you can see, this room is just empty. There's just nothing like here. I mean, it's the roof, so why would there be anything in particular? The same goes for this part. This will probably just be a storage area. Here we go. Let's go into the office building. So, every electrical company has a CEO, of course, because someone has to run the entire plan. So I figured, why not just put up an office for that guy or woman or due to whoever that be, and that is in here. Here we go. The master of the masters. Yeah, that's an ender tank right there. I uh, just thought it looked cool, so I just put it there for decoration. And I put some signs up here. Up, duh. Down, reactor overview, safety control, and power plant axis. So let's go down here. Uh, this is a room that I put together yesterday. Probably doesn't exist in the real world. Um, but I have to fill up the rooms. That's what I'm doing right now. Um, if you have any bright ideas what to fill up the different rooms with, please leave them down in the comments and I'll see if I can apply it. Uh, but this is the reactor overview safety and control, authorized personnel only. So if you go in here, this is a little bit manual here. Green light indicates that you know the reactor is active and there's a normal temperature. Blue light, the cooling rods are inserted. Red light, overheated fueling rods, and brown light is an empty fuel channel. So basically, this is not the control room. I've showed you the control room before, that's where the magic happens, that's where they control everything. This is basically just an overview that indicates that if something bad happens, the personnel in the administration building can see it as well. Uh, so you have here the cores, the different cores. This is Unit 4, Unit 3, Unit 2, and Unit 1. Simple as that. Um, and of course the CEO can walk all the way up here just so we can, you know, shake it all out at the same time. Um, so that's that. Let's go down here. Oh, stupid. Okay, there we go. Uh, I put up a little meeting room in here, because there has to be meeting room, right? I mean, where they talk about different things. Um, here's another conference room in here. Oh, there we go. A little bit of a, oops, a little bit of a break room over here. Where they can take some breaks and shit. Um, I figured I need to. I mean, I probably need to add toilets and bathrooms, right? Because in the real world, 
what do you got? You can't just shit on the floor, right? So I'm, 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 that's the next step. Uh, this corridor takes you straight out to the power plant. Over here, as you can see, I removed all the glowstones from the corridor and put in actual lamps. Here's unit two, core and pumps. And I have not made much of a progress here. Basically, I just dug out the core to be able to put up the reactor in there. So it's just an empty shell at the moment. Uh, administration building and unit three and four. Let's make our way to unit three and four because that's where I made the most progress so far. What's this? All oh, signs everywhere. You're gonna love this because when I release this map, it's easy to get lost, you know? Um, I still get lost. But with this, putting up signs everywhere, you shouldn't be that lost. Over here, you have a Unit 3 staircase, and this takes us to Unit 4, and we're in the Golden Corridor. Surprise! So, walking up over here. Oh, got a little flaw there. I'm gonna change those lights later. Uh, unit 3, ventilation building, and we make our way to the central hall number 4 over here. Run away, run, run, run. The turbine hall is right in here. Yep, turbine hall goes in here. And here's the central hall, or the way to the central hall 4. Uh, and the stair to control rooms. So, the control rooms are just like here. You see? Signs everywhere, you should be able to find your way around. Not too hard, I hope. Starting to lag a little bit too much now, I feel that. And we're in control room number four, where the shit happens. So, as I said in the last live stream update, I have added the ability to activate the reactor from the control room, check. Activate the control rods from the control room. Check. Basically, that means if you pull this lever up here, fuel rod loader, you will load the fuel into the reactor core. I've actually connected it all the way, go down like that, straight into the core. And here is the emergency cooling shutdown. Is it five button? If you pull this sucker right here. The entire core will be filled up with cooling cells, stopping the reaction, taking the temperature down. We all know how that went in there, maybe. Shit. So, that's just a small update for today, guys. The administration building is basically finished. My next step is the small building surrounding the area. Um, I'm gonna start working on them probably today. And that will be finished in a while. Um, I'm going to push a new video update real soon, as fast as I possibly can. Um, and I, if you like this video, do not forget, please leave a like on the video. That helps a lot. And leave a comment down below what you think of this project. And if there's anything that you think is missing, leave it in the comments as well. Also, feel free to subscribe to the channel. That really helps me a lot. If you really like my videos, don't forget to push the bell button on the top right corner at YouTube. That way you will get notified when I push a new video. So until next time, have a great day.